I make sure that not only any passengers, but especially like friends and family, get safely from A to B. What makes me kind of proud, that is what I think sparked the interest in becoming an engineer in air traffic. I think everybody that knows I work in the control tower thinks I'm an air traffic controller. And you actually have to explain to them that there's a whole um, industry goes on behind that. Everything else, the infrastructure, the systems, the projects, like everything that makes that happen, there's so many people involved. If it wasn't for all the electronics that support the operation, it just wouldn't happen. You can't forget that actually what you do can impact um, safety of three, four hundred, if not more, passengers. It's always about safety. The primary concern is safety. Every day is different. It depends what the day brings. Sometimes you're throwing a bit of a curveball where you just have to deal with it as you can. So many things going on, whether it's operational maintenance, plant maintenance, it's a very diverse job. In the morning you come in, you do basic checks on the equipment, basically status checks. You check your monitoring systems, make sure that everything is running. Make sure nothing's failed overnight if it has then that's where your day might take a different turn in because you have to deal with that. Faults sort of take priority. You call up air traffic control, speak to the watch manager, make sure that nothing's gone wrong. You go to certain sites, like for example, the instrument landing system, the ILS, you have to go onto the taxiways to get there. So um, you would actually drive in between aircraft, which is quite exciting. It can be a bit scary at first when you, when you first get your license and everything, um, to uh, be that tiny car in between aircraft. Our office is basically the airport, which is amazing. Not many people have such a great view, which is great. It's good to have people that have got maybe a different take on things, a different perception of things. The challenges and the pressures that are put on you are different to what other people have to deal with. You need this calmness to actually assess the situation. If you've got a person that can think logically, that's probably the best sort of person for the job. You have to maintain a lot of knowledge as an air traffic engineer. You're learning things every day, you're learning more about what you do, you're learning more about the whole operation. You have to be a team player. That's the number one key that you have to bring. Everyone has a certain amount of knowledge and if you share that knowledge it just makes the job easier. As long as they're keen to learn and keen to be part of the team then they're capable of achieving anything. I'd say it's a great place to work. I really like working here. I, I like work. I like doing what I do. It's very interesting. There's a huge variety to the job, you know, and you can go as far as you want to go. There's lots of opportunity to develop in any which way. What really motivates me is to to know that I'm a contributing factor to making sure that this runs safely.